What's up YouTube? Okay, for tonight's video, I've got another uh, Wi-Fi battle for you, but um, before I get that, let's do a question of the day. Now, today's question will be... Oh look, a talent flame. Let's... Let's, um, let's have a question about that. What is your favorite bird, sort of bird Pokemon? I'd like to know what your uh, favorite is. Um, it can be like, it could, you could include like the legendary birds as well, they could count. Or it could be something like Pidgey. What is your question, what is your answer to my question? Leave a comment in the comment section, I'd like to know. Uh, please drop a like on this video if you enjoyed this as well. Okay, uh, anyway, let's get to the, uh, to the battles. We've got a nice, um, and new team I'm coming up against and there should be loads and loads and loads of fun. Okay, uh, for this one, I thought, well, I might as well lead with, uh, I'd swap things up a bit and lead with my Golbat, uh, for this, um, battle. So, out comes Breloom as the lead, um, for this team. So, I was pretty happy with that matchup, because Breloom really can't touch me at all. Um, outside of just, you can just use Spore, that's about it. So, I just thought, well, I'll, I'll just stay in and just go straight for Super Fang. Um, anyway, I don't really want to swap anything else into... Uh, a spore. So that was good getting uh, that super fang damage uh, on Palmfame and straight for Bright Bird here. Um, pretty much uh, that's going to do absolutely donkey shit to um, Golbat because Golbat has superior uh, defenses with Everlight and um, Palmfame just hits like a wet paper bag. So uh, I'm just going to throw up the uh, Toxic there and um, it, it pretty much can't do really touch me anymore. I'm just going to go straight for a roost this turn, um, just in case the lightning tries to attack me again, so I pretty much ruined that talent flame. I mean, um, it's pretty much screwed because all of its moves are... A lot of it relies on a lot of its recoil moves as well. Uh, unless it has roost itself, I wasn't too sure if it did. Um, but then again, I still had Toxic sort of going to the worst, like best case scenario would have been a swap. Uh, so really here, I think it's just going to go for trying to go for a crit now because it's pretty much... I pretty much screwed this talent flame uh, with my Golbat, which is good. It's always good getting uh, this poke out of the way. And um, as usual, I'm just going to go for another Roost here and getting all my health back. So I'm pretty much at full health, and um, I've got the Talon Flame out of the way. So uh, a bit of a dumb play there. They probably should have swapped it out um, much earlier after probably the first... I'd say the first um, Brave Bird there. So uh, into Thunderous here, I do not want to stay against <clears throat> in against this... Uh, this thing and also straight to acorns here trying to get a volt absorb on the switch um, I've got my air balloon too, but it's gonna go for a taunt um, That's not all that bad really cuz I'm just going to Oh, I'm just going to uh, sort of stay in and see what it actually does so hidden powder is absolutely nothing to me uh, One thing about Petrusa is it has good special defense um, quite good special defense and I've got super fang there So super fang is doing wonders me so far um, so out comes Donphan. Uh, since my <clears throat> since my uh, air balloon has now popped, I can just go um, I can just go straight for U-turn there on the switch, get some momentum, and swap something in that um, is a little bit better suited uh, to playing against Donphan. I don't mind Donphan shine; it looks pretty pretty decent actually. So once again, straight into Golbat. I know that unless it's running Stone Edge, I'm not really scared of it. Even Ice Shard's not going to do a lot either. So wait for the taunt just to. Um, <clears throat> Just in case it didn't set up like Stealth Rock or anything. Goes for Rock Tomb, which is interesting. Um, not, it's actually not a, such a bad move either. I I tend to run it on um, a couple of my other sort of NU pokes. Um, you can The Speed Drop can be sort of effective, but probably not really f very effective against Golbat because um, even with, uh, with Everlight, he's not really that speedy. Um, you sort of have to bulk everything in defense. Um, so I got the Toxic up on it anyway, which is good. That's sort of what I mainly wanted to do. And I can get the roost off uh, here, which is good, and change my um, type for that turn as well. But unfortunately, with all those speed drops, it's best me just going for the roost and I'm probably swapping into something different uh, pretty much here. Then again, he really can't touch me uh, if Rock Tomb is his most strongest attack um, as well. So I'm, I was guessing it had like Stone Edge, Earthquake, maybe Ice Shard, and it had Rock Tomb instead of Stone Edge, um, which is a pretty... You know, it's a pretty creative choice over Stone Edge uh, as well. So, pretty to my Super Fang, uh, Strainy Gengar, which was good. Um, I can't really touch this thing at all because um, I'm going to get pretty much one shot. So, into Acorns, expecting a uh, Thunderbolt, but it's going to be a Mega Gengar instead. So, um, this is really awesome, fun stuff. Um, anyway, so I just... Hell of it, I just uh, kept uh, battling. Anyway, so uh, Shadow Ball is just going to decimate my... Um, Patrusu, unfortunately, but he was pretty handy there. 
um, with the Super Fang damage on Thunderous and that sort of stuff. So straight to Scrotom Jr. here. Um, I just went straight for Shadow Ball because obviously with um, it's got the Mega Item, so I'm going to be able to outspeed it even if it's timid. Um, nature. Now, um, Domfen is not going to like a freaking Shadow Ball. That does lots to it. Um, so next turn I'll be able to take it out. I knew that it'd probably be carrying Ice Shard, and, um, which it does, so that's alright. A little bit more damage uh, against my Rotom. Didn't really phase me too much. And I can take it out, which is good. Um, I was happy with that. And I really needed to keep Rotom alive for that uh, Mega Gengar as well. So out comes the Gengar again. They obviously don't know that I'm Troy Scarfed uh, yet. Um, so I'm going to outspeed here and go for the Shadow Ball. So they most certainly know that I'm Troy Scarfed now. And uh, getting rid of that Abomination is uh, always a very handy thing. Okay. Uh, anyway, so into Breloom uh, right here. Even then, I knew that I could do some nice damage here with Shadow Ball anyway. So I just thought, bugger it, let's go for it. Nearly takes it out. Survives with like a tiny little bit of health. Uh, it's going to spawn my Rotom, which uh, it's pretty much going to be useless now. But I was happy to get rid of that... Um, Happy to get rid of their Gengar. They probably should have swapped in their Brelon before spored me. Then I wouldn't have been able to get rid of their Mega Gengar, I guess. So another Rock Tomb here. Um, interesting. It must be like a Technician set. Because uh, I see it doesn't have Poison here. So at least they're sort of, sort of being creative with this. Somewhat creative with their set. So I don't mind that. And um, straight into Matroak here. Um, I know I can resist Rock Tomb. And the speed really isn't a like a big factor uh, for Matroak either. Because he's more sort of slower sh shit anyway. Um, I know that I can't use... Any spore or anything, and I've got a bullet punch there, and that's going to take it out, which is good. Now, um, sort of got this thunderous to deal with. Now, I freaking misclicked here. I was going to swap out my poke, and um, of course, my finger uh, touched the screen. I only used a bullet punch again, so uh, that was sort of somewhat unfortunate, and that's going to do heavy damage to me there. But fortunately, I live, which is good, so I can sort of swap him out and use him for later. Uh, but good old misclick there. I'm actually using my um, for my style. So I started using my uh, my iPad pen. It's pretty good, it's like triple the size too, and you can't you can't mess it up. So I, I anyway, I just sacrificed Rote on there just for a free swap in, really. Um, so straight into Drapion here. Um, he's going to go for a Thunder Wave, which is um, yeah, pretty decent play there because uh, my Drapion's a sweeper, so uh, decent. But then again, this thing has like paper thin defenses, so I'm going to take it out with a Cross Poison there, which is good. Okay, now, um, I, d I would have lived the Thunderbolt, uh, pretty sure, regardless. Anyway, so out comes the D-Knight as the last poke. I was a bit worried about this thing because I know how powerful D-Knight is. Um, it's going to show straight for a Dragon Dance here, and I was like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a, um, sort of a bit of a situation here, but I know that I can't one-shot it, and with, you know, with its multi-scale and everything and all its bulkiness. So I just went straight for knock off there. Um, without Sword Dance, I'm not hitting very hard either. Uh, at least I got rid of the Lumberry. That was a very positive uh, thing there. So straight uh, into Matrix. I probably should have gone to Golbat knowing that he used Earthquake. But I sort of thought that he may go for another Dragon Ants. But um, that was something I definitely could have done. Uh, I should have probably done. But I didn't really want to risk my Golbat as well at the same time. Because um, I needed to sort of take this thing out. Anyway, so the Dragon Claw hits me really hard. Considering um, how bulky Golbat is in HP and defense. Um... I'm going to get the Toxic off on Dragon Up, which is pretty much the only way I'm going to be able to take this thing out. Um, there, I was just hoping there. And once that, and that Lumber is gone as well. Um, even if it sort of starts using Roost, um, like I, I can still get that like that Toxic damage going as well. Uh, it's pretty much my only uh, way to sort of try and get past this guy. So I get one shot of my Dragon Claw there. Obviously, um, it's got like a plus one. It's hitting very hard now. Um, but I've got... Uh, the, Toxic stages are starting to uh, rack up as well, which is good. Um, I can't really do anything else here. I'm down to sort of my last few pokes. Um, I have to let Golbat go there, um, and that's going to take me out with uh, Dragon Claw. Uh, now, the only poke here that I've got left, um, I dare say, is my Lickitung, yes. Now, I knew with the Everlight attached that Lickitung could at least probably just badly take a, um, a Dragon Claw here. I was hoping for no crit. Um, and I take it pretty well decently, and I hit him with Body Slam. I know that I wouldn't take it out, but even, even like a little bit of damage is better than nothing. And the poison damage just takes the Dragon Eye out. So um, yeah, that was the, pretty much the game. So um, good old Lickitung um, was able to tank it out at the end there. So uh, good game, Virus. And anyway, um, thank you for watching the video. And um, question of the day: What is your favorite bird Pokemon? Leave a comment in the comment section. Um, 
What will it be? Could it be Pidgey? Anyway, um, if you enjoy this battle, uh, please leave a like on the video as well. And um, as always, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Peace, everyone.